Yo, what's happening, YouTube? Today we're gonna take a look at the uh, something you've seen in one of my demo videos already, but we're just gonna cover just this and all of its features. Uh, not that there's, it's not overly complicated by any means. Now this thing does have a remote feature, but the remote feature goes through a compatible Fisher receiver or amplifier, which this one here is. Uh, originally, this system came paired up with the, I actually have it right here. This, this, the original amp doesn't work. I shouldn't say that it does work. It just, the channel's cut out on it and it got damaged during shipping. It originally came with the 854 amplifier. It's actually a very nice looking amplifier. Shame it got damaged during shipping. Pretty much just a paperweight. And it plugs into a, to a, with a ribbon cable to an input like that. Or actually an input output, whatever you want to call it. So it'll plug into the bottom one. So that's for your CD. And the uh, 911 also has that, which in one of my other videos, one of my recent videos, I actually pulled that out. I did a demo just on the RS 911 as well. So I'm going to keep the 854 over there and for now because I don't feel like messing with it at this moment. I'm going to move my wife's Amazon out of the way. We don't use it in here. We use this, but uh, we store it there because it's a nice little spot for it. Take a look at the back of it quick. Like I said, it's nothing fancy. Power cord plug in there. You have a accessory output so you can hook something else into it. I, yeah, it's unswitched. So whatever you have hooked up would not operate off of the power button on the CE changer. However, the way I have it hooked up, I have it hooked up to the switch input output power output on the receiver so if i turn that off obviously it's still gonna turn all that off too this one was 1988 i believe no, 1987 looks like what do we got there march of 1987 so three years before i was born that's your uh remote control control uh, ribbon cable right there where it plugs into the cd changer that's just your audio left and right output so as you can see it's nothing fancy however it is a very good sounding machine as all as are all the uh that errors dac models by fisher studio standard anyway so typical loading mechanism like all the other ones i have that i showed but like I said, I like to give uh, all my equipment the equal opportunity to have its 10 minutes of fame. Check this one. Check this two. Like I said, we're not going to do a sound demo since we already did on my uh, bedroom system demonstration video. If you want to check that out, if you haven't done so already. Still random. Why not? So if you hit random play, it's, the results are obvious. What's going to happen? It's nobody's first day. So that's random play and I can do like a program mode. So let's say I have five CDs in, which I do, and I want to play them. Let's do them random. Let's say I want to do track five on disc two first. Say I want to listen to that. And then I want to hear the seventh track on disc four. Then you go disc four, go up to track seven, the memory button again. And then I say you want to go to uh, hear the second track on disc three. The disc three, track two. So that's the third track that's gonna play. We'll do uh, disc one, song one. We'll do um, disc four, track eight. 
Maybe, then we'll go, maybe we'll go back to disc three and track seven. So six songs. And you can also hit the repeat button to keep them from playing. Otherwise, it'll, otherwise when your six songs are done, it'll just stop. So hit the repeat if you want to keep, to keep the music going. Just like you would if you want to play, uh, if you want to play all five th CDs through. After it's done, disc five is just going to stop. However, if you hit the repeat button after disc five is done, it's going to start playing disc one again. I'm going to grab disc two, go right to track five. I love that loading mechanism. And if you get if you get a chance to get one of these and all it need and it says it just doesn't work and it's because of the door, all it needs is new belts. Trust me, get it. You will not be disappointed with its performance. And I think this this has up to thirty two programs on, so you can do up to thirty two tracks. I believe. Don't quote me on that though. I'm like ninety percent positive. Actually, it might even tell you here. It's a linear skate disc loading system, high quality sound with digital filter. Oh, yep, 32 selection program, continuous play. Great. There you have it. It said scan out, I'll let you uh, skip forward in, a, in said track. Or back in said track, however you want to however you want to do it. Obviously memory, that's it, that's checked out, I'll let you see what your program is. Random play, intro scan is pretty cool, so... It's pretty much useless, but it's neat to have display. That'll change what you have left. So that means disc number one has 16 songs, and that's a total uh, total time is 64 minutes and 29 seconds. That's how much is left in the whole CD. So we're on track one, and there's they get to the end of the CD is going to be 63 minutes and 36 seconds, and that's just where you're at now. It means your disc one, track one, index number one, with uh, you're 59 seconds into it. I don't have any CDs loaded up with index feature, but again, um, I will do a, a video just with index CDs. And also, if you look at the one from for the uh, the Fisher 914 and the DAC 205, I actually do play index discs for the sole purpose of showing that feature. Pause is obvious, play is obvious, forward and back is obvious, stop is obvious. This is how you pick your CDs you want to play. So let's say you want to clear your memory, you just want to do it normal. And you just want to play CD three. You just hit the third. You just hit disc three, and then the play button. And it'll pick it up. And uh, it'll play disc three. If you want to let it roll all the way through, or if you want to go right to a track that of your choice. I hit it too many times. <laughs> Pause is obvious. Stops where it's at. Anyway, guys, that pretty much sums up the video on the uh, DAC one nine six. Like I said, again. Very uh, basic CD change for the most part. Nothing too fancy. It doesn't have the uh, all the buttons lined up and with all the extra fancy features. However, it does get the job done, and it sounds just as good as all the other ones. So, anyway, as usual, thank you for watching. Let's take one more uh, look at the front of it. I love the, the, the calculator-type displays on these. Pretty cool. Anyway, guys, peace out, and I will catch you the next time.